Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be the long overdue March favorites. Those of you guys who follow me, you probably noticed my last favorites video was way back in January. I definitely have a ton of time to make up for, so I'm going to kind of cram a bunch of favorites in today from the past couple of months. Without delay, let's just jump into this bad boy. If you want to see my March favorites and not so favorites video, just keep watching. Okay, so I have about 11 products here in front of me. I'm just going to go with this because I picked this up first. My first March favorite is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Foundation. Here is what it looks like. Probably the number one reason why I love this foundation so much is the finish is just flawless. It's a natural matte finish and this lasts for 24 hours. I put this on like early in the morning and at like midnight at night and when I'm taking this off it's still there and oils are not coming through whatsoever and for a drugstore foundation it was pleasantly surprised I highly recommend this my second March favorite is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil uh, bronzer and this is the dark chocolate Soleil so they have three of these and this is the darkest one that they have here is what the compact looks like and then here's a quick look of the bronzer itself not only are these bronzers incredibly pigmented but they blend so beautifully and they stay put all day my third favorite is the color sensational loaded bolds from Maybelline and this this is shade 770 Mauve it. So here's what the little uh, case looks like. Here is the lipstick itself. And here's a quick swatch. Incredibly pigmented, incredibly creamy, and moisturizing. I was definitely not expecting um, the Loaded Bolds to be amazing whatsoever. I have the regular Color Sensational line and, you know, they're just okay. But this, my friends... Is amazing my fourth favorite is a blending brush from Elizabeth Mott here is the brush itself it's a little dirty I did use it today but I got this in my ipsy last month and ever since then it's been a total game changer I don't use any other brush in my crease this is amazing for creating a very definitive um, sharp cut crease or you can even use this to um, buff out a beautiful transition you can use this to apply um, your inner corner highlight or really just buff out some smoky colors underneath of your lower lash line. Whatever you want, this guy will do it, but this is especially perfect for any colors that you're putting in your crease. My fifth favorite is another brush, and this is the fan brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. And it says here on the handle BMD-300, so that is what it looks like, and here's the actual brush tip itself. I really, really like this brush. I use this every single day for when I'm applying my highlight. It takes all the work out of applying and it's very sturdy and it's feral so I know it's really good quality. Um, when the day comes that this gives up the ghost, I will definitely be repurchasing this. It is amazing. My sixth um, favorite is from Tarte. This is their Man Eater Mascara. Here is what the beautiful, gorgeous packaging comes in. Here is what the brush itself looks like. This mascara is so bomb um, out of all the high-end mascaras that I've tried in my lifetime I would say this is my second favorite next to the mascara from Too Faced I wouldn't say there's anything special about the formula itself more so it's the brush the brush on this bad boy really just applies that perfect coat of mascara to every single individual lash and this really lengthens my eyelashes compared to any mascara that I've ever used before this mascara really lengthens without making anything look too clumpy. Another favorite is the Milani Make It Last uh, Prime Correct and Setting Spray. This is the uh, 16 hour wear. This stuff is thebomb.com. If you've seen my past videos, I've been using this every single time. When I'm applying my foundation, I usually just dot that all over my face. Um, right before I go to buff it all out, I will do a few spritz of this and it really just adheres the makeup to my skin and just gives it that beautiful, refreshing finish. And it really does make your foundation stay put all day. The best part is it is drugstore. I believe it's around $10. 
and this stuff is just as good as the high-end stuff trust me you want to get out and pick this up another March favorite is the wet n wild contouring palette contour and this is shade Dulce de Leche I've been raving about this non-stop so those of you following me already know all my pros and cons for this product it definitely isn't my favorite um, highlighting and contour duo ever but for the price it is very amazing and they both blend very beautifully next favorite will not come as a surprise it is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette I have been using this so much the past month it is not even fair to any of my other eyeshadow palettes it's just amazing you can use it for so many looks whether or not you want a natural everyday look or you want a dramatic smoky night out date night type of look you know this is going to be your go-to and especially now that it's spring it really has all those beautiful spring vibe colors it's just it's been my go-to and it never disappoints i love working with this palette on to my last march favorite this is the maybelline master camo color correcting kit and this is for shade medium so here's what it looks like it has six pans you have two for color correcting you have two regular conceal and then you have two for highlighting this stuff guys it is so amazing and every time i use it i'm like asking myself how is this not a high-end um, color correcting palette it's just so much better than any other drugstore color correcting conceal kit i've ever tried each and every pan is super creamy and super uh, full coverage and the best part is it blends so beautifully into the skin where you really don't have to like work at it if you want to conceal a really big blemish you can just go ahead and put a very minimal amount over that and it is concealed and best of all it stays there all day I don't have to worry about you know touching up throughout the day to see if the blemish came back and peeked out again this is such a great um, color correcting palette especially for the price this product I would say Say is an essential for every girl's makeup kit uh, whether or not you wear minimal makeup every day or you're going full glam all day this definitely needs to make it in your collection so those were all my March favorites now on to my March not so favorites first up is the L'Oreal uh, infallible total cover liquid foundation this also claims to be a 24-hour coverage which I will say is true I mean I have tested that out it does last all day however it is a pain to work with and when I say a pain to work with I mean this is the most difficult foundation that I've ever tried out of all the foundations that I've ever had to wear first of all it is like near to impossible to determine your correct shade without actually going in and swatching this on your skin also this foundation sets uh, very very fast and it is almost impossible to work with when you're using a beauty sponge you have to actually use a brush so you can actually go through and blend it in very fast like you can only really blend half of your face and then you have to go to the next half of your face because if you go all over you know this side is already dry before you even went and blended it out um, so that was kind of a pain to work with and also um, when I use this by itself because um, I had been mixing this with the uh, pro matte foundation and then it didn't give me a problem at all but when I did wear this a few times by itself the coverage was very patchy um yeah I didn't like it another disappointing product for March uh, was the Maybelline <laughs> I can never say that word Ugh. the Maybelline dream cushion liquid foundation um, so here is the compact that it comes in it actually comes with a little um, sponge applicator at the top which I never used because I didn't like it and then on the inside here it has the actual cushion itself I didn't realize at the time that I purchased it but this it only has 0 0.51 ounces of makeup in here and this was around $12 if not more and I just feel like that's such a ripoff especially for a drugstore product like I think I used this for three weeks before the sponge actually started running out of foundation and I had to actually open it up and take the sponge out and then using that sponge I would actually like put that on my face which is totally not sanitary but that's what I had to do to even get the product out I feel like that was just a, a waste of money on top of that this foundation does not really set and it just stays really um goop, goopy and dewy on your face which I guess is good if you have drier skin but um, I have normal um, to oily combination skin and that it just felt gross even though I went in and set it with setting powder I just felt like 
it still let grease peek through, especially towards the end of the day. It, it didn't stay in place and it just wasn't super comfortable on the skin at the end of the day. And all in all, this is not a bad foundation. I like the concept that you can take this with you to go and it's pretty easy to touch up. But as far as the formula itself, I wasn't a huge fan of it. And then the fact that it just has such little product for the price. That's just my opinion. Of course, different products work differently for everyone. Everyone has their own opinion, and that is just my personal opinion for this product. Okay, my last two not so face for March are actually both uh, liquid eyeliner pens. I have been on a mission this past year and this continuing year to find that perfect holy grail liquid eyeliner pen you know that just like my go-to and right now my favorite is actually the one from Too Faced it's the sketch marker um you guys have seen this on my channel quite often and I've had this for three months and it still has life to it like it's getting at the end of its life but it's still going pretty strong both of these eyeliners I got um this month recently and they They've just been such a huge disappointment. The first one I actually got from my Ipsy. This is from the brand Absolute New York, and this is their Nano Liner. Here's a little tip itself. This guy is like super watery. It's not very opaque. And when I'm applying it to both eyes, um, I have to like really squeeze out um, or press down to even get ink flowing. Other liquid eyeliner pen was the Maybelline Master Precise and this was shade black and this one really isn't too bad it does draw on pretty well it um is <laughs> definitely more opaque than the nano liner right there and the actual shape of the tip itself is you know really easy to work with the only thing i don't like about this is i literally had it for a week and then the tip started drying up already so every time i go to use this I have to press down at the beginning and kind of swirl the tip in there. I don't know, something about the way it was designed, the ink just doesn't continually flow into the tip of this. It dries out a lot. And I mean, when I first got it, it worked great. But then again, after the first week, it was a struggle to work with. And you know, when I put on my eyeliner, I'm like at the end of my makeup time and I'm like already running late. So I don't wanna sit here and just kind of like wrestle with eyeliner. I just want something that I can just pop on my eye be done, be out the door, you know, don't, something that I don't have to think about. Unfortunately, this was a, a disappointment for me. That is all of my not so favorites for March. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it was a help to you guys, especially um, if you're curious to try any of these products for yourself. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel already, don't forget to subscribe before you leave to see more videos like this. You can also find me on my Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. That's all mix and match mail. I hope you guys have the most awesomest week ever, um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!